I'm an addict for snitches. I'm an addict for snitches. I'm an addict for snitches. What's good, what's good, back up in the building, it's your boy DJ Dells, back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show, brand new unboxing as you can see here, now this unboxing is going to be a fun one, I'm going to get into a detailed review of this shoe, but this is going to be more or less of a first impression, and just almost like a discussion video to see where everyone's heads at as far as with this product right here, these shoes right here, I wanted to see what everyone's opinion is, on them because I know people are gonna have mixed opinions on these right here so I'm gonna so in this video I'm gonna unbox them and then do an actual more or less detailed review on these shoes right here and let's take a look at these for the first time together you can see here we got the back to the future part two air mags well I don't know exactly what they're calling them but basically out of nowhere the actual company of the movie back to the future released these shoes for Halloween for people to wear for Halloween and a lot of people have mixed opinions on this because some people feel like ah well these are fake they're not made by Nike <laughs> but at the same time they come from the actual movie they come from back to the future so how would they fake if they were from the movie the air mag that Nike released last year didn't have the auto lace so does that mean that those are fake or replicas it came from Nike the shoe in the movie was Nike but this shoe right here is from back to the future so there's a whole lot of different aspects to look at when it comes to these right here me my opinion obviously I purchased them so I wanted them my whole look at it is that it's from the actual movie back to the future the reason why I wanted them was not necessarily to wear them because I probably will never wear them unless it is for like a Halloween party, which I'm sure I will eventually do. But right now, I probably wouldn't wear them. If you wanted to wear them, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Wear what you like, have fun. But my whole take on this whole product is if it comes from the actual company from the movie, then I don't see what the problem is. They're just as much as a quote-unquote replica as the Nike version being that the Nike version doesn't have auto lace yes they don't have a swoosh on them but this is from back to the future the movie so your thoughts leave your comments as I said this is gonna be kind of like a discussion video and just wanted to see everyone's opinion and just because you don't like this shoe doesn't mean you have to hit the thumbs down button and not like the actual video hit the like button if you enjoyed this discussion slash unboxing just lets me know that you enjoyed watching I notice sometimes people like automatically hit the thumbs down button hitting the like button lets me know that you actually liked watching you know what I mean if you don't like the shoe leave your comment in the box participate so we'll take a look at the actual tag of the shoe first real quick as you can see it is from Universal Studios right here. For people that are saying that they're fakes, you know, I understand what you're saying, but think about the whole big picture here. These are made from Universal Studio, who put out the movie Back to the Future. They may not be what you like because it doesn't have the Nike logo on it, but, but it still is a Back to the Future product. You know? Let's open these up and look at them for the first time. It's got Back to the Future paper. It's just a fun thing to have, you know. I've always wanted these just to have, just because I was a fan of the movie. They look great. I'm mean, it's the best hundred hours I've ever spent. I spent a hundred hours on these. I mean, hundred hours for this. It's fantastic for a hundred hours. There's no other word but fantastic. For someone that just wanted this as like a collector's piece, someone who was a fan of the movie. When I was a kid, I loved this movie, you know? It's more than just the Air Mag shoe in general. I just was a huge fan of this movie, Back to the Future, the first one and the second one. Huge fan of the movie. So it's cool to actually have these. And I'm happy to have them for a hundred hours. I mean, come on. And you can light them up right there. See how they light up. Oh. That's how they look lit up. 
Let me know your thoughts on the shoe. It's okay not to like the shoe. I'm not trying to convince people to like the shoe. Keep in mind. So if you don't like it, leave your comment in the box and tell me you don't like the shoe. You know, I don't mind people not liking what I buy. As long as you're not being disrespectful toward me and saying anything rude, then I don't have no problem with you not liking the shoe. Leave your comments. Leave your thoughts. I will do a detailed review. And... And I do, I will put a link in the description box below. Shout out to Freddy. I, I think his channel is Freddy TV. I actually was able to get a little advice on this shoe right here. I watched his review and it made me actually want to copy it. So shout out to him. And, um, you know, I'm just like other people. You know, I watch other reviews. I just don't watch many reviews because I review shoes. So most of the shoes that I want, I usually purchase. But in this case, I needed to watch a review to see if I like them. So shout out to that dude, Freddy. And, you know, I have other shoes that are Back to the Future inspired, too. Like, I'm a fan of the movie. So, to me, you know, it's a collector's item. It's a collector's piece. I just thought this would be fun to have. I could have these Hyper Dunks right here that were inspired by the Air Mag. As you can see, it says 2015. And they should be releasing, actually, in 2015, the actual shoe with auto lace from what I keep hearing. But I have these right here that are inspired by the movie. I also have these that aren't really inspired by the movie, but inspired by the actual car, the DeLorean. And that was featured in the movie. These are really cool. I love the bottom of the shoe, how they have it like the brake light. I think that's great right there. So I have these that are inspired by the actual DeLorean. You know, fan of the shoes. I, I love old stuff that I grew up in. I actually just dug this up over at my parents' house. Because I was visiting my parents' house and I found this in the attic. <laughs> it's the original Millennium Falcon right here. I mean, that's crazy. The original. Played with this when I was a little kid. My mother picked this up when I was younger. I was going to visit her because she's really sick in the hospital. And I just wanted to go back to my old house growing up, just reminisce a little. And this was there, and I was like, oh my God, it's wild. And thank you for all your prayers. A lot of people have been sending a lot of nice messages and praying for my mom. She's literally fighting for her life right now. And it's really sad with the holidays. And I appreciate everyone that's been praying. So I'm going to end the video right here. Hit the like button if you enjoyed watching. I will have a detailed review. When I do, I'll put a link in the description box below. And if you're looking for these shoes, just hit me up on my Twitter, The Sneak Addict, over at Twitter. And I will do my best to help you out. I've been very interactive, and I've been able to help a ton of people out with just sneakers in general, restocks, and just finding kicks that I've reviewed in the past couple of months that people are looking for. So... Always hit up that Twitter account. I will always try my best to help you out as long as I'm not busy. And, you know, I'm on my phone. It's easy to usually help people out. It's just about me catching the actual tweet and whatnot. So definitely try hitting me up on my Twitter, The Sneak Addict. I will put that link in the description box below. So look in the description box. If, if you're not following all my social networks, you're missing out. Because I'm always posting information on restocks. Anything to help you out with sneakers. If you're into sneakers, you should be following my social networks. And you should also be going to my blog, thesneakeratic.com. Morning, noon, and night like clockwork. Black Friday just hit. Cyber Monday just hit. I helped a ton of people out. Make sure you're following. Don't miss out on the extra work I'm putting in to help everyone out in the sneaker community because I'm doing it for all you guys that watch the show and enjoy it's just, it's just my way of giving back and showing love and showing that I appreciate all you guys that watch the show thanks for watching make sure to hit that like button if you enjoy watching the show share this Facebook Twitter if you enjoy watching I'm sure someone that's in your circle on your social network will too so share this Facebook Twitter Google Plus catch up on all the reviews look in the description box below and with that said we out R2, come here. R2, come to me real quick. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. DJ Dells. So we're checking out this custom R2 D2 unit that was hand built. I was talking to the guy and basically. The way this worked with building it was get a buy each individual part from people that were selling each individual piece. From over here to over here. There's places where you can buy each individual piece to put this together. Like even up top, 
It's amazing. It actually has a remote control where you can move this R2D2 replica unit around, as I was showing you in the beginning of the video. Something like this cost to make. Do you 